<sighs> I haven't listened to that in a long time, so it really did something for me. I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't even know if like our last video I had this shirt on because our videos are so far Hopefully apart. Do. But you this is one of my favorite shirts, so it is my mother. I actually so really I love this shirt, so because yeah. I love the baby Yoda and the fact that Cindy gave it to you is even funnier. So side note, oh my god, because I'm gonna tell y'all the breast story. I can't get the tape off my nipple. You want me to have you? Anyway, <laughs> what's going on? YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey guys, that's me. And we're back with an all new video. It's been about a week and a half since we last saw you guys. Has it been? I know it's been, it feels longer. It hasn't been that long because we did a video the week before and we were supposed to come back last week. Um, I didn't post our fish video. I just, I wanted to talk to y'all about it first because. What's that? We we taped us eating the Popeye's fish sandwich. Oh. But I had on a hoodie. Because, like, you see how my neck look now? Yeah. When I had on the hoodie, the hoodie comes right here. So, my face was like this. And I it look just, like that every video. <laughs> it irritated me so I bad. I look like that in every video. And you know what? We, I was actually, me and somebody was actually talking about you. And they was just like, you know, Tiffany don't give a fuck about how nobody in that house look that she posts. And I said she doesn't. Except for herself. Let you post something to her that she like, don't like. Six hundred pound life. Let, bitch. let you post something to her that she don't like. Uh, uh, I don't like that. I'm like that. Uh, uh. I'm like she won't even send you a picture. Oh, I ain't sending because I ain't like none of the pictures of me. Anyway, y'all ain't seen me bra, tits out, Nene's nipples looking like a missile. Everything, y'all don't. She don't care. Sleep, drool coming down my face. She doesn't care. Anyway, um. I first I got sick last week, so you were sick. Remember, I was sick on Sunday night to Monday. Oh yeah, you was. Sick. Uh, y'all, I don't even know what I did wrong. Like I had leftover crabs, which I don't eat. We get crabs on Saturdays. I usually don't eat them past Sunday. Monday is pushing it. I'm really like scary with seafood, but I had them Sunday, and then I y'all know how I always got. Which so many people have said stuff to me about my little bottle of water with the lemonade in it. You guys, it's literally just like the little packet it's that the you're Walmart shaking pack. in. And it's the offering. Yeah, I think I had like a, a family dollar. Oh, yeah. Um, but I drink, I tend to drink water really fast. So I ate like eight crabs and then I drank a bottle of water literally in like two seconds. I didn't even know your throat was that deep to drink water that quickly. So I'm proud of you. Um, and then my stomach just started hurting and then I ate an Uncrustable and that just like. Why would you? Uncrustable while your stomach was already hurting. Well, it was like it wasn't hurting real bad. It was on the edge, but I wanted something sweet. So that, your drink wasn't sweet. <laughs> Not really. So I was like in so much pain, and then I threw up all night. Mm, I threw up it all was morning. Awful. And I'm mad because when I throw when I whatever I throw up, I don't want it for a long time, and it was crabs. So I won't be able to eat crabs for a while. And we eat crabs every week. So I'm I'm saying. Saying. At one point I said, I was asking God, is there anything else left in this? Oh room? my Lady God, Lord, like, please. it was so bad. So, and then y'all know last week was my sister's baby sprinkle. And I was like, oh my God, please. I cannot, but it's just funny how God works. I was like, I cannot be sick this week. But he made me sick on Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The sprinkle was on Saturday. So I was like, thank, thank you, God. Because I could have got sick on Friday. And it would have been canceled. Oh, my God. But speaking of the sprinkle, I just <laughs> it would have been canceled like shit. A couple of things I got yesterday from this store called Kid to Kid. It's like a kid's goodwill. Look at these. Uh, they're a size new. They are so cute and little. I love them. I'm so excited that my sister's having a girl. And I got this. You know, I'm tr I'm really trying not to get excited. And number one, I mean, I am excited for the new baby. I am. But you just never know how these new kids are going to come out acting. And my other niece. This is for Easter. Me and her didn't Easter. get me and her didn't get to start bonding at least until she was two. So it's just like I'm not going to get my hopes high. We're not going to worry about it because Britney's kids come out obsessed with Tania, so we already know what's going to happen. I just don't know. Um, but yeah, so we threw a sprinkle for her. It was donut themed, of course. Tania cooked all of the baby shower food, and um, we had donuts. I think this was my last event. I think I'm. Retiring. This is what she says every time. But I will say this, um, because I am fat and old. Hosting things. It's not even the hosting. It's not even getting it together. It's the end when everybody's like leaving. Ha ha ha. 
have their little candy bags and their little plates wrapped up and me and Tanae are washing dishes and see, cleaning no, up. See, what, that's I, what, my issue. My thing with the cleanup is because I know it comes along with it. So my thing is, you know I got to clean up. Get the fuck out. Yeah, nobody No, that's my thing. Like, why do you think you can stand there like a statue while I'm cleaning? Get your plate that you wrap, get your to-go bag, and go on and on and get the hell on out. Yeah. That's all I'm... See ya! Um, but shout out to my friend Jessica who always comes through for me. Shout out she to Jessica. She made me a very pretty balloon arch. Oh, look um, at these. But can I tell y'all something about balloon arches? I am now against them. Let me tell you about my stupid ass. I, I thought they were jelly beans this whole time. We had donut masks. They're donut masks. Jessica made them. Um, but she made a really pretty balloon arch for us. But then I discovered that it's like you pay all of this money for a balloon arch. And no, because see, Jessica gives me the family discount. So I'm good on that. But for you people who be paying like $70 for these balloon arches. No, 70 Or however much they cost. You pay that $100? Chippy! Chippy and Peppa. Oh, sorry, Peppa. Um, at the end, when we were, cause see, if it was at my house, cause it was at my sister's house, it we was at my house, kept it we would have kept it up for like two days, but the thing is they're, they're latex blown up balloons, so they're going to deflate right. anyway. You literally spend all this money on an arch just to pop it at the end. It's really, you're really paying for somebody's time. Yeah. It's just um, so fucking tedious. Yeah, no, it really irritated me. Like, at the end when Cardi was back there popping, I was just like, what was the point for pretty pictures? Oh, yeah, you? that's the point. I, I didn't know you paid under $100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Justin gave me a good I be looking at these people menus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, because, let me tell y'all, I'll tell y'all my family, I'll tell y'all the price. Jessica is my good girlfriend, so she doesn't. No, don't tell, don't tell them the price. That's well, because I if bought, she gives, she, they go, she will, somebody will be like, I want Tiffany's she price. She just told you that she doesn't do anything for anybody but well, you now. you just now. don't know. Don't tell the price. But anyway, well, I'm telling you, I'll tell you what I paid for everything. That's fine. But it was just like. I didn't really pay much for it. But I'm just like, if I was like, I'd be looking at this boy page who does amazing decorations, they'd be like a G. Like, I... No, I'm... Ta now, as a person who... I don't decorate. But as a person who's done catering jobs, so like, you... Let me tell you about these people. I, I tell Tiffany all the time, these people are fucking robbing. Number one. <laughs> They're robbers. Scammers. They should go on the top line. Because, not, first of all, that shit that you're paying for, like, a lot of those decorations, they don't have to buy. They keep in the and little they, storage. Yeah. And they, and they, and they reuse and the over same and over shit again, right? from the dollar store yep. and Michael's. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, okay. But then it's just like, like, balloons. Uh, literally, you can get a thousand pack of balloons from Amazon for, what, 20 bucks? It's just like they be really doing the most. Like yeah. it's really the and most. And then when you think about like places where you have it at a hole, you definitely have to get rid of it at, at the yeah. end. Yeah. Like you can't save it at all. So I mean, it was beautiful. I'm glad that I played the price that I did. But when I got to the balloon arch, I was just like, oh hell no. Like even the balloon, I sent the balloons home that I bought from Party City with my sister. But it's just like Rex is just gonna beat them like he's a boxer. Like oh, I still have my balloons from the dollar store from Valentine's Day. It's literally, I'm trying to see how long they can stay. I'm yeah. going to see if they can stay all month. Um, so, yeah, but it turned out great. Uh, my niece is due March the 30th. And like she, she is chilling. Yeah, she's scheduled for a <laughs> C-section. Um, but they was like, I mean, if she comes, because she had a C-section with Rex. Mm -hmm. So they were like, we're going to schedule your C-section. But if she comes, we can try the vaginal thing. Because I thought once you have a C-section... All of your kids have to be a season. Well, no, that's some that's old technology. Yeah. They have some they new, shit some new now. Shit, yeah. So um, yeah, like if your baby come, you're gonna push. And I actually hope that she does come. I to want her to push. I think Brittany baby. would be really good at pushing. She deserves to have a baby, no baby. <laughs> so I hope that she does. Slide on out, sis. Yeah. Come on out. Because if she doesn't make it soon, she's gonna be an Aries. She come on got, out. She please be a Pisces, <laughs> Lord. She only got like a week. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so I think the last time I was here, I was telling y'all that I had a, a lump under my arm. Um, I think I did. Um, anyway, so I went to the doctors and they said it was just like an infected cyst. 
And then I was just telling her like how it scared me because my mother had breast cancer, my grandmother had breast cancer, my great aunt had breast cancer. So I was like, I'm just always ter- terrified. Like even when I'm washing my titties, I'm like, oh my God, was that a bump? Like I'm just, I just be scared of shit. Laying in bed, just feeling all on my titties. It's just weird. Um, it's so she weird. did a breast exam and she was like, I feel like a sis. She was like, but it's moving around. She was like, it's not stiff. So she was like, I'm just going to send you for your mammogram. I was supposed to get a mammogram next year, but she was like, I'm going to send you early. I feel like my boobs aren't big enough for a mammogram. Girl, they go- see, that's the thing. I was thinking about people with little titties. They going to fuck you up. Like, I got two mammograms this past week. And bitch, let me tell you, when they get to that one where they turn your titty to the side and they turn the machine to the side and they squeeze it as hard as they can and say, don't breathe, don't move. I was like, oh, and how was, often do you get these? Once a year. Niggas ain't shit. They don't have to go through nothing. I am sick and fucking tired. Yeah, so. When did um, these start? At 35. But yeah. Because, I mean, I always heard about a mammogram, but I got my first one. So, I got the mammogram. And it was like the ones where they just push it down from the front. That's why. And then it's so invasive because, like, she's, like, literally positioning it and Get off my and fucking bone! Yo, the side one, like, they literally twist your titty and then they push it down as tight as they can with this plastic thing. Like, literally, like, twisting it until it's tight. And then she was like, I know, I know. That must be the one where everybody be like... And she was like, don't move, don't move. See, oh, my God! Because <laughs> I can imagine me being like, is that fucking necessary? Yes, yeah, it's wild. It's wild, um... But so I was like, I got it. And I was just like, I went home three days later. My doctor called me and was like, hey, it's like a shadow on your left breast. I was so fine. we're going to, um, I want you to go back and get an ultrasound just to be sure. So instantly, y'all know my mind went to the grim reaper. I said, Tiffany. I was like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I said, Tiffany, I, y'all, until you know something, it's really no point. And stressing yourself out. I, I really stress the fuck I really try to be out. her peace and her calmness because she is crazy. So I went back yesterday and I was supposed to be getting an the ultrasound. They come back in the room and they be like, actually, actually, we're gonna give you another mammogram. And they were gonna be like, since you just got a mammogram last week, you're only supposed to get one once a year, so it's going to be $55. So instantly, I was no! like, like, I almost wanted to be like, just let me die. Like, no, $55? Want me to I gotta pay? <laughs> Hell no! So they did the mammogram, and she showed me the pictures from last week, and you could see it. It was like a little teeny, like, circle, some, like, in the middle of my breast. So she, like, was, because now she knew exactly what she was looking for. She was moving my boob, and she was like, okay, we needed it such and such degrees like she was moving it all around and then we decide when that shit hurt and she was like okay so i'm gonna give these to the radiologist she's going to look at them you just go sit in the back so because usually they tell you it'll take a week to come back no we're gonna look at this now i told you they lie they do that shit because they want to if they want to get it done immediately they can so she was like this will determine if you need the ultrasound so then 10 minutes later she came back and she was like, okay, we're going to go do the ultrasound. So instantly I was like, oh my God, is something wrong? She was like, no, we just want to get a closer look. Now this is, y'all seen like people get the ultrasound on their stomach with the baby. It's the same thing. Titty turned to the side, yeah. all up under it, pushing on it. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at my the inside of my titty on the screen. Shuts the fuck out. Then she's like, oh, I see it. It's the little teeny circle once again. So then she leaves and she was like, okay, we're going to go take these back and we'll be right back. And then she came back and she was like, you can breathe now. She was like, it's a little teeny cyst. We don't think it's anything bad. I want you to follow up with your primary care doctor, but we feel like we won't have to see you back for a few years. And I was just like, now, that's what I meant to tell you. I don't think the mammogram is every year for everybody. I oh, think because of my great. genetics, you I have to every go year. every year. Like, my mother okay. has to go every year. My mother has to go next week. Which is, I watched her face when she told me, and I was just like, as a breast cancer survivor, I think it's so nerve-wracking when they have to go get mammograms and stuff. Because oh, it's my. like, what I, if they see something? Your mom's boobs are so low. Right. I can't believe they smash her like and that. And look, but so it's like your titty you like you're literally my titty was like literally all right here just smashed like a pancake i was like niggas ain't shit it's so funny because earlier when i picked rex up from school he's like um so, all y'all fucking get is a cough and a ball cut right so he's like um 
So what are they going to do with my mother, blah, blah, blah. So instantly, I mean, so I just, I came in with a conversation with, but I told him, I was like, that's why you never forget that women are stronger than men. He was like, well, why do they be screaming when they be having a baby if they stronger than us? You know what? Because <laughs> even though that he's seven, I really, really, and I'm going to invest for the men in my family. And you know, this men that I come across, I really want to get that machine. Oh, yeah, where they feel that like you can things. feel. Yeah. I would just love to put it on his little ass leg and see how he feels about that. Yeah. Asshole jerk. So, anyway, um, since yesterday, I'm just. I'm just hoping that I can inspire somebody, honestly, because... Go to the doctor. I was terrified of the doctors in my 20s, y'all. If I would have been did half of the shit that I'm doing now, especially with, like, my period issues, I might have some type of solution, but I was just so terrified. But at the end of the day, you just have to remember that no matter what, you're going to have to deal with it eventually. So, it's like, why not just go ahead and get it over with? And sometimes it ends up not even as bad. And it is scary. Because mm. my biggest thing, I was like, oh, my God, are they going to have to do a fucking biopsy in this on this fucking thing in my breast? Like, I was scared. And I think it's because I've seen what my mother went through. So, mm-hmm. I actually know, like, the process. But it's just like, just do it. Just fucking do it. Like, if I can do it, it reminds me of, like, I hope I'm that person one day when people that be, like, 600 pounds be like, if I can do it, anybody can do it, y'all. If I can go to the doctors, y'all can. happen to anybody. (laughs) Bitch, you gotta watch my 600 pound from last night. No, I was watching it with the the screen saver up. Oh, my God. It was too much. Oh, my God. Can I tell you something? Dr. Now needs to go ahead and quit. He yeah. doesn't have the same, like, he's not personable anymore. Yeah. Like, it's just straight. You think you playing with me? Yeah. You, what, do you want to die? It's like, whoa, doctor now. Yeah, she was wild last night, though. Anyway, um, so the uh, the little bill just passed. Everybody should be getting a stimmy. They said, like, maybe even family. over the weekend. I want my stimmy. <laughs> Waiting for my stimmy. Yeah, they said that it should be. Some people should get it as early as this weekend. Let me tell you. Hey, something. I'm fine with Joe Biden. Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> and I feel like y'all motherfuckers who didn't vote for him don't need no stimmy. And I know one specifically. Give me that fourteen hundred dollars. You don't need it. Oh my god. So y'all kids should have a good spring break. I know a lot of y'all actually who didn't vote for him, and I want y'all fourteen hundred dollars. I wish that Joe Biden would have hired me as the person to go through the votes and see who didn't vote for him. I could tell him who not to get money to. Oh, my God. Um, I wanted to send prayers and a shout out to our little Beehive member who passed away last week, Lyric Chanel. Oh, my God. I didn't know who he was going to oh say. Um, I was scared to death. I didn't know who died. No, that was sad. I, what makes it really sad for me is that she is Kari's age. Mm-hmm. And when they show like videos of her like just normal, I mean literally not even that long ago and then one day she was just diagnosed with a uh, mm-hmm. brain tumor. Like that could be Kari. Like as much as she gets on my fucking nerves, I would be like my life would be destroyed. This, it would be it totally would just be, different. It would like, be so bad. Dedicated like, to her even more. And the fact that she didn't beat it, like, it's just, it's so sad. Very, very, very it's, sad. It's very, 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 very sad. Like, I feel so bad for our parents, and it's just like, again, like, you, it's certain deaths that you see coming, but she's still a child, and this still just, like, happened. Like, she was a regular teenager, and mm-hmm. then she just went to the hospital and had a brain tumor. Mm-hmm. Like, it's fucked up. Like, I, it was just really sad. I was hoping that she was going to beat it. Um, Hey, yeah, it just made me real sad, especially because she's Kari age. Um, and then the Meghan Markle uh, and what's his name? I stand in solidarity <laughs> with my black sister and her ginger husband. And that's just is what it's going to be. So they had an interview with Oprah this week. It's like nobody likes Oprah anymore. No, I'm fuck with her. But if she, you know, <laughs> it's like who else is doing like big interviews now? I mean, I'm gonna continue to watch her, but I just feel like a lot of times Auntie Ope has left me very disappointed. So I'm really disappointed you, about how she did Michael Jackson. I'll say, you see, that shit with Michael Jackson was the nail in the fucking coffin for me. Yeah. I just can't. What are y'all doing? Like he's sniffing in the drawer, pepper eating. Um, yeah, so it's just like, yeah, so, um, but the good thing about Oprah is, you know, that Oprah is not afraid to ask certain questions 
you know, Oprah's the type of person where they're... She's a journalist. What's the person that um, comes and tells, like, the interviewer what they're going to... What they're not going to answer, things that they... So, like, the publicist stuff. usually. Oprah's the type to cross those boundaries. Well, no, see, if I... If me, Oprah, if it's me, Oprah, uh-huh. it's no boundaries. <laughs> now, you have the option to say, I'm not going to speak on that, but I can ask you anything I... Because it's Oprah. True. I can literally... Yeah. Interview anybody I want in the world. That's true. So, um, so the interview was just, it was sad for me. Like, just to know that number one, like, at some point she was suicidal. That is so scary. That's very and, sad. Scary. and then, like, once they started, like, talking about how her child wouldn't have security, how he wasn't going to be a prince, and then they were worried about how his skin color was going to be. Because it's just like, excuse me. See, that's how you know white people are racist as fuck. Because he, we all love Megan, but ex- Megan is a pacifier. So if Megan honestly and truly didn't want to be like a black person, right. she could be like, oh, I'm biracial right. and I'm extra white. Um, so it's just like, what the, what did y'all think Ar- Archie's n- not darker than Harry? No. Nope. Like with the tan. I don't know what y'all thought he was going to come out looking like the mother. Yeah. Because he, he's like clear. I don't know what y'all were expecting. I, I, me either. He even got the white baby head. Like you, the no, head. absolutely got the white baby head. <laughs> So it's just like they wanted them white ass kids that Kate and uh, y'all finna fuck around. He's gonna get locked like his grandmother. Keep playing. <laughs> um, so that was sad for me to hear, but it was interesting to hear Megan say that she didn't like, it, and it caught Oprah off guard too because now the type of people that we are, before we do anything, we Google it, and she was like, I didn't really look too much into like what was going on um about the queen about how things work she was like i didn't look into any of that like yeah. i mean because it's just like he's not i mean he is prince harry but it's not like it's like you're dating i don't know like prince brown like i i mean i could understand on this because i feel like when she said i didn't look into my husband it wasn't like she was like oh prince harry he's worth this he does this yeah that's no, not like that she but was like, oh, she probably googled his age but it was like after that it was like okay see ya yeah, but it's no. just like i mean because she was just saying how like it was like as soon as she was in like they took her phone they took her car keys she couldn't really talk to her friends mm-hmm. like she couldn't do anything she like she, none of I, that no she, social media it was almost like they left the house and she was in jail but yeah, a good one yeah like I, it was sad. It like, was it was really sad. I feel bad that that's what things are like in there. Like I'm wondering, you know, other than like the racial part, did Kate have to go through any of that? Hell no, her white ass ain't had to go through none of that. Um, what? See, what really, really got me, and the thing is, I've always thought about this interview with Meghan Markle because I don't know, like. I always am reading everything, like anything that pops up, so I won't have to like, especially when I was at work, like I'm mean, before we was remote, mm-hmm. any type of news that popped up that could take my attention off of working, I was reading it. Mm-hmm. So like that um thing that had came out when the reporter asked her how she was doing, and she literally that immediately almost made like her eyes glass over in water, mm-hmm. and because she was like nobody ever asked. How mm-hmm. I'm doing. So she was like, it's nice that you asked me that. And so I remember that interview because I was like, damn, nobody ever asked people like, mm-hmm. how are they doing? Mm-hmm. Like, how are you? And it's just like, it like in her eyes, it looked like when they replayed it and wanted to be like, help, mm-hmm. get me out of here. Like, it just looked like, I don't know. So like when they replayed that and she was just like saying that like, you know, the whole like she didn't want to live anymore, mm-hmm. and it was just I was like shit. Like what would have happened if like that if that report well, would have never asked too. her how she felt? I thought about what would have been like if she had like actually killed herself. Yeah. That would have been a news. I'm story. so happy that her and Harry had the type of relationship to where she felt like she could confide right. in her husband and be like, and knew that he would be strong enough to I don't know what is going on here and knew that he would be strong enough to help her just be like I can't I yeah. can't live like I don't want to live because I have to look more into Princess Diana I always say that like I remember being really young and seeing like when she died and stuff but I really got to get into it because I saw a lot of people saying like they think that she was like killed like they think that that was purpose it was don't 
<laughs> tap this video, okay? I, yeah, I don't like, need to fuck with nobody in my family breaks. But that shit was purposely done. They, they, they have been alluding that for years. Like, I just think that they don't like anybody that's like not going to listen and follow. No, them. that's exactly what it is. If you notice, Kate Middleton's ass is quiet right. as shit. P- Peppa Middleton, her fuck, like how I, I don't even understand how she is even like a celebrity now, like a big stuff of Kate, but like mm-hmm. she has her own little shit going on. Everybody's quiet. Everybody does what they say. And it's just like, see, Harry already was like going against the grain. He was like, you want a black bitch up in here? Okay, great. Oh, you married her? Mm-hmm. Ain't I had a fucking baby? Like, yeah, no. I think that people were a little too hard on Harry too. Um, because I I don't think that Harry could just come right out and be like, yeah, my family is racist. But I do feel like he's in a tough spot because at the end of the day, that is still his family. Like, he did the right thing. Right. He got his family out of there. He took his wife's side. He protected his wife right. and his child. But, it's but this is all he knows. Like, this is what he grew up in. Thankfully, he's not a product of his environment, you know, because right. I couldn't see his bald head ass brother getting with a black bitch. No, because he's a racist son of a bitch. Yeah, no. That's why he don't have no fucking hair. Yeah. God is attacking that hair like a motherfucker yeah. in the middle of it. Um, but see, I you know, just listening to the I'm because I feel like I wanted to watch it again. Cause I'm trying to find out who wants to watch it so I can watch it with them again. Mm. I really, really feel like now I'm not saying like that the whole family is not racist. I feel like everybody may have some type of little mm, biasness, but if you just like think about the things that Megan was saying, she said. Me and his grandmother have a great relationship. Yeah. So there you already know it's, it's not, not grandma. Funny. Yeah. Um, but she said her and Kate, she said people's names. Her and Kate are fine. Even I after so. oh, I don't know about after this shit. But before she said this, she said her and Kate have a are fine. Like they uh, Kate apo- well she 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 didn't I don't think she said they had a great relationship, but she said she apologized, we're fine and we've moved on. So I don't think it's them. It was that, it's that brother. And I think and it's, the it's that goddamn father, the one who wasn't answering his calls. Mm-hmm. Like, I, 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 and like uh, he said, the powers behind them. Like, mm-hmm. if y'all think that these royals are literally like calling all the shots, y'all are sad. No, I don't know. Mistaken. Like, it, it's, it's people working behind them, and whatever they say, it fucking goes. Right. And it's just like, and that is, he's just like, like he said, it's people in my family who cannot get out. Like, yeah. they can't. It's, it's crazy that Harry was able to get out. Like, I mean, he's out. He's in fucking well, California. See, that, that's because of the money that his mother left him. Like he said, he said, if my mother wouldn't have left that money, we wouldn't have been able to do this because he didn't, didn't have anybody to pay for his security. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, they took their security away and everything. And shout out to Tyler. He's a fucking prince. Like, it's crazy. Like, the prince is walking around with security that he has to pay for. Like, it's a prince. Way, I wouldn't even want their security because they probably tied and in with that shit. See? Yeah, no. He probably, they probably mm-hmm. tied in with that shit. But, um, yeah, shout out to Tyler Perry for all the black men. His home because they had three months, they said, to just figure out what they were going to mm-hmm. do. Like, because they didn't have time. They just got the fuck out of there with the Canada. And then, like they said, when we got to Canada, you stripped me of everything. Right. Like everybody, like literally, niggas knew the exact house they lived in in Canada. Like nothing was a secret. And you don't have, and I can't have any security for myself alone. Absolutely not. That is so crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm just happy that they out and they can just be. I mean, as normal as possible. Yeah. You know, like they just not under all those rules no more. I couldn't imagine life being like that. I mean. And sometimes it's probably a fun time, not probably for Megan, but for like the other people. I just can only imagine like and... the benefits, the clothes, yeah. the coffee, stuff like that. But other than that, like having to live your life constantly, because like it's different from being a celebrity. Like she said, she was like, this ain't no celebrity shit. I've right. been around celebrities. I'm a little actress. This royal shit is something it's totally different. different. So. You know, it's sad, but I'm happy she got out. I'm glad Archie is out. I'm so happy about little Mrs. Archie that's coming. Like, and don't ask me nothing about Piers Morgan and Sharon. Um, Piers Osborne. Morgan is a fucking piece of shit, and so is fucking Sharon Osborne. I'm 
so happy that he walked off his fucking job and they didn't ask for him to come the fuck back. It's so fuck crazy him. because I really have liked Sharon Osbourne at all, all these years. Sharon Osbourne is a racist piece of shit and she's been like that for years. But I don't know if it's because she's funny. We ignored it, but... I didn't ignore shit. Well, I know you didn't. Um... But yeah, so if y'all haven't seen that interview, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. But it's a game changer because nobody's ever come out and like outed the. I mean, I'm pretty sure if Princess Diana was still alive in 2021, she would have been did some interviews by now. Let me tell you something. If Princess Diana was out right now, the memes, it would be like, I told y'all niggas. But like they said, like Harry said, he kind of feels like she knew that this day would come. She did. She knew that this day would come. That's why. Because it's like, look what they did to me, and I'm white. Right. Right. Blonde and white. I'm white, white. Hold on. Was she even American? I don't even know. Because I think she's one of them. That's why I said I got to really look more into it. Because I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Let me look. Princess Diana. Um, But while she's looking for that, we'll go into. Um. What is it called? Coming to America. I haven't seen it yet. Tanea has. We both have seen the first one, of course. There's some people that haven't seen the first one, though, surprisingly. But I wanted Tanea nope, to... she's from there. She's from there? Yep. Um, I wanted Tanea to talk about, you know, just how it was. Because it's so many people saying that y'all are coming stupid. to America was <laughs> trash. Like, but it's just like, I'm not sure what y'all wanted. What? I don't know, like, if y'all were looking for, like, the next bop, blockbuster, like... Um, Coming to America is already a fucking classic. Like, it's not... That is a movie that, like, no sequel will ever, like, be better. So, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoy Coming to America. Get down the steps! Chippy. I thoroughly enjoy Coming to America, the second one. I thought it was funny. They definitely threw, like, you know, younger people in, his, mm-hmm. in there to make to modernize it. And like make it hit, but I feel like all the funny things that was in the um the original movie, they definitely referenced. Um, I love that they tried to keep every if you were if basically if you was in the last movie and you're still there. alive, I except only person who wasn't in this movie was her sister and girl. Hmm. I wonder why they wasn't in there. I admit I don't know. Oh. But I'm just saying, like those were literally those were the only people from the Her original twins. movie that I can like, they even had the twins from the club. Mm. Peaches, you remember the ones that was right? Yeah, my name yeah. is even that. Like they had everybody, so I felt like it was a great time. Um, yeah, it was funny. It's just crazy, like y'all support the black. People. I just don't know what y'all, y'all thought it would be. Like, <laughs> what did you? Somebody come under here and tell me what? Like, because I didn't have any expectations. Like, I just, I, I just Eddie knew it was gonna be funny. Thing, it's going to be funny. It's like um. Not a old, like, you know, to the the original, the original one. Yeah. It's like, hey, you know, this used to be here. Let's do some funny shit. Let's give all these black people a job. It is what it is. Um, And um, I just wanted to say, I think I, I came up outside it last time, but Texas and Mississippi, please continue to wear y'all masks. Let me tell y'all something. Do not be fucking fooled. I cannot. Vaccine or not. What the governor of fucking Texas... Literally on Monday, I, mean, I don't know the date, but literally on one, let's just say Monday, y'all don't have to wear no mask. Then Wednesday coming, the reason why COVID is going to spike is because um, President Biden is letting immigrants across the border that have COVID. No, nigga, it's going to spike because you told people not to wear a mask. Like, mm-hmm. don't try to blame that on him. These are your, you did that. So, you yeah, know. Um, Real quick, be, while, before we end this, because that was pretty much like the major things that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the conversation that Ocho Cinco had on his podcast um, last week. He was just speaking about, you know, he was talking about like his mother and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But he talked about something really important. And this is to the women who are raising young men who still have time to fix it. Shout out to Tamika because she always talks about how she's going to shape and mold her son Tegan into mm-hmm. a great man. Um, And I just think it's so important. But he was just saying, why is it that as men, like how girls, like if we hurt in, we can call up our girls. Like today, it's quick to call one of my friends. Let's smoke and drink. Let's talk. Let's just have a day where we fucking cry. 
you know, we just Sometimes all, I just gotta cry. But he was just saying, why is a man, when I'm hurting, I can't, we don't call our boys and talk about and it. And it's so crazy because I didn't know men didn't do that. They I don't. I, it's, I'm but not just having think, brothers. But I was, I was going to say, thinking about, like, my brothers, my cousins, like, they don't call, like, even, like, my cousin, like, when he was really hurting, he didn't just call my cousin, like, you know, yeah, I just I need somebody to talk to. They started kind of, like, when they saw, like, how he was acting on social media and stuff. Reached out to reached him. Reached out to him. But my aunts and them were like, call your cousin and check on him. But they don't just, because I just feel like, honestly, <clears throat> a woman can help a man. But I feel like a man can relate to a man. Just like a woman can relate to a woman. Like, sometimes we can't understand these niggas. No, because they crazy. So- they don't understand themselves. <laughs> no, but it's, no, I, I definitely understand that. And it's just wild that they don't think right. it's like, what are your friends for? Like, like, are you ashamed? Like, are you scared to be vulnerable? Back to is, you know, a lot of these mothers really ruin their son. I agree, especially with that like man up, man up. What you crying for, crying. little bitch? Yeah, like absolutely not. Like right now, I don't have any sons, but I do have a godson, and I was just telling Tiffany like. I mean, I don't know, like, what his mother planned for him, but I know, like, with me and his relationship, mm-hmm. I want to, you can cry. Yeah. How are you feeling? Like, I want you to tell me how you're feeling. Be able to, you know, express that. You, even with the whole, like, you know, you have more feelings than feeling hard, macho, you know, sexy or mm-hmm. turning up in the club. Like, it's more to men than that. And it's just like, they ain't even sick. Yeah. It's it's very strange and it's crazy because Ocho Cinco himself was crying and he was literally saying it like he knows it's something he should do. But he was just like, why don't we do that? And it's just like, why don't y'all do that? Like, I want to ask a man, like, why don't y'all do that? But I'm just saying y'all who still have like, I'm going to say, because once they turn teenagers, it's kind of hard to change their yeah. minds. They already fucked up. Start when they're little. But I'm going to say 13 and under. If you have a 13 no. and under young man, excuse me, try to start now. Let's. Start. Try to fix it. No, thirteen is a bit much. No, you. I'm saying to start early. But if you already have a thirteen year old, you may still have time. You may, may, may. But may. I wanted but to I say, like, like Rex. Rex, I feel like his is the personality that he's going to be. Well, that's what I was getting ready to talk about. I was going to talk about Rex, and I mean, this is no shade. I don't know if his father watches this. I don't care. But his father is the type that was raised like the rest of these niggas. And he doesn't ah. like shut up. Ah. Shut up. Shut the fuck. Don't so let me baby call. So his father basically like Rex like for for uh Easter like last year or the year before had on like bunny ears. Like we buy him and yummy bunny ears and he's like, take those fucking bunny ears off and Rex is like, but I think they're cute. You can't say cute. He's my nephew is gonna say whatever he wants to. He cries. He expresses his feelings. He's in therapy. I love we are raising a man that's going to be able to talk about his and emotions. And communicate. See, as much as a rat gets on my nerves and he annoys me, I love that he can communicate and tell. He can tell me if he can. If he know, and sometimes he'll be like, I don't really know the words for it, but it's kind of like when I feel, and I'm just like, okay. Right. Well, okay. Well, let's. At see least you're trying. Do. I love that he's trying to communicate that, and I feel like we should raise all of our children like exactly. that. Like not just the girls. Like girl only. Like only girls can talk about their feelings, right. but then you end up calling us emotional. Like it's it's not right. But these niggas is emotional. So really cool. Extremely and you can't control them because your mother stunted them exactly. when you were a young child. So it's just like. Let's just be different. Yeah, so if you have small men children, these men don't know how to express themselves, but they need somebody to talk start, to. And start with, you know, if it's a, a man watching this, start with your own son. Yeah. Don't be so telling your son that he can't cry and all that. I mean, it is such thing as like, man up, but if you're sad, I'm he should be able to express that. Too. But see, yeah. that's the thing. I'm telling. It's, it's universal. It's not yeah. just for a little boy, like, stop crying. It's like, Right, shut the hell up, man up. Yeah. You know, it's just you know. I say to the dogs too. It's whatever. I sometimes I tell Chippy. Yo, to man now up. I'm not gonna lie. I do be telling Chippy to man up. I be like, you a big ass fucking baby. Peppa don't cry as much as you cry. Then that's fucked up. But if it was no, like, it, I can't believe he's talking like that. He's so big and he always whining. And it's like you a boy. He's but, emotional. 
saying though. But what I'm saying is that's you know a dog. I'm not gonna do that the right. He has emotions. Today you know Chippy cries. He too does much. cry a lot, but he has emotions and feelings. No, in his eyes. He's like, it's oh, all baby. behind the eyes. It's yeah. pain in those eyes. Why? He never he had a hard day in his sometimes. life. He's never had He's a hard day in his he life. He probably has anxiety like his mother. Oh my God, we're getting ready to go, but I just wanted to end the show with that because when I saw Ultra Single talking about that, it just made me sad. I watched the same thing too, but it did. Yeah, mm-hmm. men can't express themselves, and it's just, it was just so crazy to see him crying and saying, Why don't we go talk to our boys when we feel down? He's asking and he's crying at the And then the boys are like, Oh, oh no! no! They all can't it is- say. We all got emotions. Everybody's crying watching it. It's just like, yeah, it was a lie. It's like, just because we have vagina, don't mean that. I mean, we have two different body parts. We still have the same feelings. I mean, y'all just want to hide them and be, you know, then bark them out and act crazy or go do something reckless. That's how y'all express y'all emotions. Right. Reckless and impulsive. Y'all choose violence every day. But anyway, violence that's a whole every nother. day. But that's a whole nother video. So. But we're going to go. Um, we'll be back next week. Don't oh, forget. shout out to Nene, y'all. She got her vaccine today. Oh, yeah. How do you feel? You sick? Nope. Did you get the one or the two? I got I got the two. I go back April the 1st. I got the Pfizer. Did they say that if you feel in any type of way to take any medicine or? Okay, so what they did was they make you wait 15 minutes and they watch you for 15 minutes to mm-hmm. see if you had any Yeah, because you know one lady that. passed out when she got oh, hurt. Yeah. Going, I want a dag on these. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. That's yeah, what the person yeah, came yeah. out. <laughs> like, dang. It was some people there that had some kind of issues and stuff, and they asked you, are you allergic to this? So I forgot to tell them I was allergic to penicillin, but I wasn't telling them nothing because I wanted to shop. Do your arm hurt? Die. That's the only thing I heard is the... I, the t- I took me Tylenol. I took me two Tylenol at 2.30 right while I was in the line. Okay, so when your appointment is at 3, go to the line at 1.30. Because you have to stay in, in a line and you get all the way up there. I didn't get my shot till 3.30. But the line moved fast, though. But so you the line is all the way around. I've been away in the morning. told them I had to take a whole day. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. So they told me if I don't feel good, I don't have to come to work tomorrow. Just oh, call yeah. in if I don't feel I don't good. Feel good. I don't feel good. Well, you don't want to speak that to a good I don't right. feel I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking that to a You never know. Well, I'm your, not foot, going, your toe might hurt. But you know Anything. what? I'm not going to work Monday and Tuesday, so I'm going to go ahead and Hold go to work. You keep getting the Monday and Tuesday all for. Why are you not going to work Monday and Tuesday? I have finals. I have finals. People go to work while they have finals. I don't. Um, right, sorry, sorry. We're going to get ready to go. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We're going to try to be here every week with an all new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Okay. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. brother. Tell somebody I, about the show. We'll see you guys next week. You're not a part of this show. I am. Always. You are the way every every time I've, I've met anybody in the store, they say. Tell mama and dad. I'm always been a part of this show. I am. And if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> we definitely got to go. No because there's somebody in here. Like the show. And there's no show like the show. All right, girls. You're not on the table. So go here. <laughs>